I think all of your favorite artists are finito and finished. I don't think none of these people are making any coin from the music business. That's kind of what, what I've been saying. I That's think why it's they find much, other avenues to get their money. I think it's much worse than we letting on. We don't even have no way to get this type of information because it's all at the tippy, 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 tippy top, and we don't talk to each other. And it's tech games. They, they gearing up for whatever is to come, and they're a lot earlier than, than I knew. They've been playing. They've been playing for years. Like, seeing the, um, the big press outlets bigging up certain types and styles of music has been an indicator to me, where musicianship performance, like actually being good at being a musician, has been cast aside for years and years and years. I'm with you. I think there's a focus on streaming, AI. I think there's a focus on just replacing you guys, the artists, beings, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. From the town, I like nothing. When I'm hopeful, slip. A small city or some, but mostly no one forgets. On the outskirts of where I've been, dreaming since a kid. Thought I was cursed to never see a radio hit. A Grammy, the industry is something even close. Miles outside of What's going on, all my hopefuls? This is JC Flames from Hopeful Nation. And what you just saw there was a clip from the Joe Budden podcast. You guys, I've been talking about this for a while, and you can probably guess it from my Hopeful Nation series, why I started it sometime last year, is because a lot of this is trickling down, man. Changes and shifts are happening, not only in the music industry, but also throughout the music record label industry, right? So music business is just getting really, really far advanced now with the advancement of technology, even AI, even with these distributors giving artists, independent artists like such as yourself, I'm sure, or even myself, just more opportunities to put your music out there, to be independent, to grow your own fan base, move your fan base, all of that without a big label. And as you guys can see, it's really starting to have an effect on these record labels right now in the industry. So as you can tell, Joe Budden in the podcast was saying, hey, I think all your favorite artists are done. They're finito. Now, what he means by that, though, is that a lot of the mainstream big artists, mainstream, notice I did the quotations, a lot of the mainstream big artists right now are having to kind of either seek out brand partnerships with different type of companies, as I previously stated in some of my other videos, like you have your Ice Spice doing brand partnerships with Dunkin' Donuts, you have Sweetie pushing Happy Meals for McDonald's. You, you have so many rappers doing these partnerships because they're trying to seek out different ways to get money. And not only because the record labels are having certain things and stipulations in their contracts that makes it harder for artists to live, which is smart on the artist's behalf, but also if you notice, these labels are also pushing artists to do that because they need a piece of that pie as well with these brand partnerships. You sign away some of your likeness so that some of these branding deals that these artists get, the labels have a percentage off of it, or if not, it's building up the value for the artist so that they can find a way to make more money off of you as an artist, really. So what he's saying there, though, Joe Budden in the podcast, which if you guys do not know, Joe Budden was a former rapper and now he owns his own podcast. He's been doing it for quite some time now, years, and it's even changed over the course of these years. But he's really built himself as a personality and he's really built his brand up to talk about hip hop and whatnot and how things have changed, even just popular topics and celebrity news, all those controversial issues that you got going on with celebrities, artists, rappers, all of those things. But anyways, he says it in this podcast. He's saying these record labels are they're broke, man. They're they're going broke. A lot of them are just really scraping scraps. They're really trying to just do whatever they can to make money off of these artists because all of these things are readily accessible now. And you got so many artists that are coming out saying, hey, I'd rather be independent. Like the bag they offer you for the advancement only lasts for so long, or it's not worth it for the long term. And you have all of these things, like I said, with the advancements of technology that are readily accessible to the artists now. So with that, all these opportunities are starting to open up and artists are starting to jump ship. Right. And because of that, these labels are starting to feel the effects. 
they're starting to feel the aftermath of you you got your streaming you got your distributors you got fans and artists supporting each other without the need of a loan from uh, a label i always call it a loan because it kind of is and you have all these things happening and they're really cutting out the middleman which the middleman, if you guys haven't noticed yet, it is the record label. And you're starting to see it with publications like as Park pointed out, he said it's kind of been telling over the past year or two how hip hop has kind of taken the back seat slowly. And he was saying even the record labels are starting to sign artists that are more international. So you have Afro beats, you have reggaeton, you have certain genres that are starting to take the forefront where labels are like, well, we'll we can make more money off of that artist over there because they're more national. They're more worldwide with their appeal. Hip hop is starting to have its time where it's it's not starting to build a lot of that fan base it's not starting to build the value anymore for the artists so they're starting to take that into consideration that's why you have certain artists that they're signing they're looking at such artists as bad bunny or even in the afro beats area even that world and if you guys notice you pay close attention like i have with a lot of hip-hop and r&b right now if you notice hip-hop and r&b acts are starting to even switch up their music to be a little more afro beat centric a little more reggaeton heavy and, and it's kind of weird because like for instance i never would have thought i would hear the weekend do a reggaeton type of song with travis scott and bad bunny like that's crazy right travis scott of all people too that's doing that type of genre so you have more of that. Chris Brown's last album, 1111, a lot of Afro beats were on there. You have more artists that are switching to that because they're starting to see the national worldwide appeal for those genres as opposed to hip hop. Hip hop is not such the number one music genre in the country anymore in the United States or even throughout the world. It's starting to kind of take a back seat a little bit to some of these other genres the labels are seeing that they don't want to invest in certain hip-hop acts if it's not making them so much money right and what joe button's putting out there he's, he's like your favorite artists be it your cardi b your uh i spice some of those ones that are heavily known as being the artists in the forefront where labels can say, hey, you're doing this type of track. You're doing that type of track. You're doing this type of music. You're doing this type of decision. Some of these other artists around them have more longevity because they have their own built-in fan base or they have more of that long-term success because they built their own sound or they built their own style. And some of these mainstream, mainstream artists who are not so good at rapping or, or not so good at forming their own style, their own sound, you can tell that they're starting to dwindle down a little bit with some of their sales and even with some of the labels backing them. And that's what Joe Budden has been talking about the past few episodes. And I've been really playing close attention because I noticed that he's been having a strong emphasis on it and he finally said it. And I'm glad he did so I could show you guys what he's talking about now is the time to all my hopefuls out there to be an independent artist, to push your music as hard as you can, pause, and really just go, go all in on your music, right? Be an independent powerhouse, build up your brand, build up your sound, your style, all of that because these labels are slowly starting to fall. They're starting to lose their money. They're starting to lose their power in trying to sign these artists and feeling like they have the ball when it comes to the power dynamic. They have the ball in their court, but really it's, it's starting to die off. We're hitting a new day and age. So all my hopefuls out there, independent hopefuls, keep grinding hard, all right? Let me know in the comments below what type of record labels you think he's talking about or even some of these artists that they've been there's been talks of certain artists being industry plants some of the ones that are more gullible for the record labels to kind of push stuff in their face and say you're going to push this you're going to do that let me know in the comments below which artists you guys think those are which artists do you guys think that are going to fall off a big time even after this year or next year just let me know in the comments below, you guys. Let me know as well what other videos you guys want to see. I'm glad you guys have been watching. Got some more how-tos coming. I know I've been late on those, but I got a lot going on, all right? So before I do go, please make sure you hit that like, hit that subscribe, hit that notification bell to stay up to date. My name is JC Flames from Hopeful Nation. Until next time, I'm out.